Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing my wax melt empties. I have a whole box of them. This might be wax from approximately three weeks of melting. I am not sure. So let's get into it. Um, the first thing we have is something I melted last night and this is Spearmint Wintergreen Malo from um, Rose Girls. And this is one of my favorite scents. This was in like a big snowflake. So I put this all over the entire house last night. I really was enjoying it. And my boyfriend was working on his RC car and he turns around and looks at me and says, what's that smell? I'm all, what does it smell like? <laughs> and he says, it smells like medical um, mint. I'm all, what? <laughs> And he just says it smells like super medicinal mint, like plasticky. I'm like, oh, okay. And he said, yeah, kind of like um, when you go to the dentist, like that overwhelming smell of the dentist plus fluoride. So he didn't like it. I kept it in. But um, so that's Spearmint <laughs> um, Wintergreen Mallow. I have like four more of those. So I don't, I guess I'll have to melt them more often when he's not home. <laughs> um, next is Tiffany in the Grinch. And this is from Ava's Country Cupboard. This is Buttery Cupcakes, Crushed Mint, Lemon Peel, White Chocolate, and Cinnamon. Um, this is one of my favorite scents as well. Um, it's so good. I just love the slight hint of mint that's in there. I wouldn't necessarily say like, oh, I'm going to melt this at bedtime. It's very um, a well-done white chocolate, like vanilla cupcake type of scent. So really enjoyed that one. I finished a um, scoopable from To The Moon and Back in Vanilla Smoothie. And her um, scoopable wax is kind of messy. It's made with avocado oil, but I love the texture of it. It almost melts immediately. Like, I know scoopable wax does that, but hers is just like so, so creamy. So um, I mix this in with some other scents. It's a good scent. I don't know if I'd repurchase it again in a scoopable, but it is a good scent to kind of blend with or tame down some scents, which is what I did. I think I mixed that with Lavender Tranquility from um, Hayden Rowe, which was also a scoopable because that one's like a very herbaceous um, lavender. I needed something that was like a little bit softer, but still still lavender. Okay, you guys, this is so good. I can't even describe to you like how elated my nose and my brain, like this is such a good scent and I'm so freaking sad. This is all I had of it. I didn't know I was going to love it. Um, and I'm on a low buy. <laughs> if she offers this though in, I know you're like waiting on edge. If she offers this in, um, an upcoming pre-order or something though, I have to buy it and I'm going to buy, I don't know, eight to 10 bars of it. <laughs> and this is Sassy Girl Aroma out of the bread box. You guys, this is Pretzel Latte Vanilla Bean Noel. I got it originally because it was latte and I love coffee scents, but this is not latte at all. This is the most decadent, sweet, rich, salty scent. It is incredible. It's heavenly. I just, I can't even describe to you how amazing this is. I love this like with all my heart. Like it's so good. So I highly recommend it. Um, save some for me because I need more of this. Um, I haven't felt like that way about a scent in a really long time, like a new scent to me. So it's so good. I'm so sad it's gone. And it lasted an incredibly long time. I was sad to change my warmers out, but I know I needed to. <laughs> um, but this lasted like 12 plus hours. It was phenomenal. Oh my gosh. I don't even want to get rid of the bag because the bag still smells so good. Okay. Next we have Super Tarts Beauty and the Beast. And this is Blackberry Sweetened Cereal Marshmallows and Sugary Milk. The performance on this one was just not there. Yeah, it was just not strong at all. So this is not a repurchase for me. I feel like a lot of people love this scent too. And it smells good. I love blackberry. But man, this one just didn't perform for me. So um, I don't know if I would try it again. We have Sleepless in Seattle. This is Cafe Latte Cola and Marshmallow Fluff from Super Tarts. And I did enjoy this one. This one did throw a lot better. I would say this threw about a three and a half 
um, to four out of five. And this one's very interesting. You definitely get a coffee note in here, almost like a whipped espresso. I don't know. Um, this, the cola note in here is not fizzy at all. It actually comes off to be a very syrupy cola type of scent. Like maybe the syrup that they put into cola before they add the carbonation. That's pretty much what this smelled like. I liked it. I probably would pick up a clamshell of it again. It was interesting. But a coffee scent I really, really love from Super Tarts is going to be Espresso Yourself. And Espresso Yourself is whipped espresso and cream soda. It's just a really good coffee scent. Once again, it doesn't smell fizzy at all. It is just the most, I don't know, like such a decadent like coffee drink, but it's not like overly sweet, which I think is what I don't like is overly sweet coffee. It, it's just, it's just too much. And it usually turns into a scent that I don't like. So, um, keep in mind that these weeks were all the themed weeks. So some of these weeks were favorites. Some of these were clamshells and, um, clamshells and was that it? Um, and some of these were like from my dislike week. So here's um, a dislike. So I did try this. This is a custom I made with Waxidents um, back in October of 2020. This is Pizzelle Sweet Pumpkin and Orange. I was like, you know what? I might actually like it. Let's see. And um, no, I did not like this. What did this end up smelling like in the warmer? Gosh, I should have written it down. I knew I was going to forget. I can't remember. It didn't smell like, I think it smelled more like an orange cinnamon roll or something. Um, I did not like this orange scent, not at all. So not a repurchase for me, but I mean, I don't typically like orange scents anyway, so it wasn't like a complete surprise. We have Squeeze the Day from Scentsy. This is just like a very citrusy lemon type scent. I did enjoy this, so I probably, if I was buying Scentsy again, I might buy this, but I'm not buying any more Scentsy, um, at least the bars. Um, we have Scentsy Sweet Pea and Vanilla. This is a favorite of mine. This is so good. Oh, it's so pretty, but this is like super, super strong. Like this one blew out my entire house. So definitely recommend maybe even cutting the cubes in half if you have a lot of warmers in your house, because this is just, it's so crazy strong. It's amazing though. I think I have one clamshell left. Okay. One that I really enjoyed from Super Tarts is Sookie. And this was gingerbread, yellow cake, applesauce, and buttercream. This was such a beautiful scent. The gingerbread did not hit me in the wrong way, which sometimes I know it can. Um, and the applesauce was just a beautiful apple scent. I don't know what kind of apple it was, but it lended really well with the yellow cake in here. It wasn't like overly potent. It didn't really smell like caramel apple. I loved this, so definitely would repurchase that. Next we have Cozy Vibes from Southbound Candle Co. And this is vanilla sugar, vanilla orchid, cedarwood, smooth musk, leather, sandalwood, and rich amber. This one did throw pretty well, but this reminded me of cashmere cedar. I think that's what it is. So I really like cashmere cedar, but I have like big loaves of cashmere cedar, so probably not a repurchase, but if you love that like really cozy, creamy, like soft, I don't know, cuddly scent, this is it. We have a black swan from Zape, and this is blackberry, raspberry, strawberry, pear, and vanilla. I did not get an incredibly strong throw, maybe a three out of five in my bedroom, which is a pretty low score considering it's like a more enclosed space. This is pretty. I might repurchase this if it's in like a scoopable because I feel like the scoopables are really strong. This one was really nice. This was Holiday Sweets from To The Moon and Back Creations. And this is Strawberry Pound Cake and Vanilla Bean Noel. I'm trying to open it. 
Yeah, I like her strawberry pound cake. It's nice. Um, there are some strawberry pound cakes that I just don't like. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's like too heavy of a pound cake or something. But this one's not cloying to me at all. I really do enjoy that. Okay, one that I fell in love with and I need more is Southbound's Donut Shop. This was phenomenal. It threw incredibly. I want to say like a four and a half out of five so good uh put this all over the front of my house if i had more i would have put it in the bedroom too but i didn't um this is cinnamon sugar baked crust butter creamy donut batter agave syrup powdered sugar and vanilla bean this was incredible 10 out of 10. oh my gosh i love it oh it smells so good this is i love cinnamon sugar donut scents so there's no it's not really a surprise that I like it, but I love it. <laughs> okay, next we have berry topped waffles. This one was also incredible. Um, this is from K Scented Melts. Yeah, I had a fantastic time with this one. It was really, really good. Definitely would repurchase. I thought about maybe doing a custom with this, but I don't really want to ruin the scent because this is a um, custom blend, like a house blend from K. So I really like that one. Okay, another really, really good one from K Scented Melts is Baccarat Rouge 540. And I know a lot of us want this perfume. It's a little bit out of my price range, so I don't have it. Um, but it was really nice that I was able to experience the scent in wax. And it is stunning. Now, um, if you're familiar at all with Ariana Grande Cloud, then you know that that one smells very similar to Baccarat, Baccarat Rouge 540. And I will say they smell almost identical, at least in wax form. I haven't actually smelled Baccarat Rouge 540 um, in person, like the actual fragrance. So this though smells just like Ariana Grande Cloud. It is freaking phenomenal. It's so luxurious and sweet and I don't know. This just makes you feel so good. It's kind of has this like really like powdered vanilla type of scent in there. I don't know. It's, it's great. I highly recommend this one. Um, if I wasn't on the low buy, I would be on Kay's website right now ordering multiple things. Okay. We have sugared lavender from that smell good shop, which is a sweetened herbal lavender. I really like her sugared lavender. It's phenomenal. Um, that smell good shop, you put one cube in a warmer, you're good to go. Like you don't need, um, like all these cubes in your melters. I mean, you could do two for a bigger space, but I highly, highly recommend, um, that smell good shop. That was so good. Okay. So these two are part of my, um, what week? Risky week. And I was so freaking nervous. Okay. So I put in salty dog and lime in the front room and this one I was like not as nervous about. And then I put lychee pop tail in the bedroom and I was more nervous about this one, which is so funny because literally it was like opposite. I actually ended up liking lychee pop tail. Oh, I'm sorry. This is BZ tarts. Um, I actually ended up liking be, uh, the lychee pop tail in the bedroom. It was actually pretty pleasant. It didn't, it didn't smell quite like the rotten over ripened fruit that it did in the packaging. Um, this actually smelled really nice and I probably would pick this up again. Salty dog and lime. No, <laughs> it's going to be a hard pass for me. This, I put it in and I'm like, whoa, I thought this was going to be more on the lines of margarita. And I'm like, this does not smell like a margarita. This is, this is just n not my thing at all. And I was like, oh my gosh, it smells like grapefruit. I was like, my stomach was turning. Um, I left it in the warmer. Thanks, Drew. Um, I left it in the warmers for a good few hours. And I'm like, I have to take this out. But before I did, I looked up what a salty dog and lime is because I've never had one before. I just assumed, I guess, the salt part. I was like, oh, it has to be margarita or something like tequila based. It's not. It's a grapefruit alcoholic drink and it's freaking gross. No. <laughs> lychee pop tail that was pleasant I was happy with that okay 
<laughs> Next we have Christmas Vacation from Lured Apothecary. This is Spice Buttercream Creamy Nutmeg Maple Gingerbread Cake. This one was okay. It's a little bit too spicy for my taste, but this performed great. It was like a medium to high throw in my living room kitchen area. It was good. I just don't think I'm super into gingerbread. Um, and it kind of took me a couple seasons to figure that out, but I mean, I like to eat gingerbread, but yeah, so gingerbread is just not my scent. I just, there's something about it that I just don't like the spices all blended together, I think. Okay, this is actually a scent I'm melting now because I pulled it for my favorites week. Um, this is actually, I just had like two little pieces left in um, my bathroom basket. And this is Frankenstein from Ava's Country Cupboard. It's pumpkin pecan waffles of vanilla bean Noel and Tiffany's Cupcakes so good you guys this is phenomenal like I'm smelling it now it is so good oh I just can't get enough it it's creamy it's rich it's fluffy it's like warm and cozy and just the one of the best bakery scents that I've ever smelled so we got that one I'm dropping stuff on the floor oh gosh okay so we have um L3 Waxy Wonders Rose Red in a puppy pack. And I've had this puppy pack literally since I started buying wax. So I've had this for since... Um, was it the end of 2020? Or maybe like middle of 2020? Anyways, it doesn't matter to you guys. But this is Rose Red. And this is... I think it's like black currants, orange, tea and cakes, rose... Um... This set was okay. I have a loaf of it that a friend gifted to me. Um, I hope I like it more. If it's not quite my scent, I might actually add more rose to it. Um, tea and Cakes is just such a strong oil. So I'm not sure if that's what it was or maybe if it was like the, because there was more orange added in there. Um, it was pleasant. It threw pretty well. I would say like a medium, but not sure if I would repurchase it. Okay. I was so excited to find this sample because I didn't do the L3 restocks and I really wanted to try this set and I was like, oh, I have a sample of it. Okay, let's try it. This is Mayor of Halloween Town and it's Lord of Misrule in Lunar Eclipse. And this smelled really nice. Yeah, it's definitely, her Lord of Misrule is definitely heavy patchouli. Um, I got a little bit of the Lunar Eclipse. I might actually like this mix with a little bit more, like something a little bit sweet. But it was really nice to try. So I was glad that I found that sample. Okay, we're getting close to the end. But the rest are bags. So let's see how fast we can get through these. Okay, we have... Did I drop those? Okay. We have Spice Pumpkin Cider from Ava's Country Cupboard. It was just a little sample that I put in the bathroom melter, and I did enjoy it. I don't know if it's a repurchase for me. I think I don't want to buy any more pumpkin scents, I think. It's not that I don't enjoy them, but I have quite a bit, and I think those will last me like all through next year, so pumpkin's not really on my radar. Pink Sugar Pie Crust from The Bathing Garden. This is one of my favorite scents. Of all time, they're these cute little pies. You can see um, I post a picture on my Instagram of them. This is so good. It, it was so strong. Like, this threw me out of my bedroom strong, and it lasted a really long time. The only thing I will say is that I have noticed that if you leave pink sugar scents in the warmers for, like, a really long time, they start to develop almost like a burnt type of note so that's the only thing I've noticed that with other pink sugar blends too. So that that's my only like mm, like little thing about it. But this was phenomenal. I will repurchase. I have a sample that I just saw um, of this scent, and then I have one that's kind of similar in my stash as well. So we have Birdie's Making Sense in Parting My French Roast. And this was a cute little coffee cup. This was coffee bean and white cake. This was phenomenal. Her wax is so good. I almost picked her for my vendor week, but I didn't. So I might think about doing her another week. 
um, but we'll see. This was so good though. I highly recommend um, Bridget's um, coffee scents because they're so good. Okay, Amethyst from that Smell Good Shop. This is Raspberry and Sweet Lime. I love um, the Sweet Lime from that Smell Good Shop. It's so good. It's one of my favorite lime scents of all time. And the raspberry with it is just so beautiful. It's just such a juicy, rich, tart, like, drink. I love it. Okay, Snug by the Fire. This is Marshmallow Fireside Cinnamon Clove and Vanilla from Lord Apothecary. Um, she actually included this as a free gift in my um, box from this Christmas pre-order. And it was okay. The Marshmallow Fireside was actually stronger than I thought it would be, which was kind of what helped me enjoy this one more. But the Clove, it's just too... It's too, like, scratchy. Like, does that make sense? It's too... I don't know. It's just like, it's just like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> it just, it, I can't do clove. Okay. Next is Ch cherry pistachio birthday cake from L3. I had some bunts. Um, okay. So at first I put the scent in and I was like, Hmm, I don't know if I like that. And my boyfriend was like, I don't like the cherry scent that you have going on in here. What did he say? It reminded him of I can't remember, but I will say that after the really, really heavy cherry scent wore off, the birthday cake in this was so good. I ended up really enjoying this after about an hour and a half had passed and it just kind of like kind of melded together. It was beautiful. So I really liked this one after a little while. We have Lured Apothecary Coffee Shop. This is buttermilk pancakes, caramel marshmallow, cookies and cream, cake batter, cream cheese frosting, sugar waffle cone, and coffee ice cream. Now, my friend, um, Danny, who hasn't really been present in the wax world recently, um, she really, really likes this scent. So I picked it up because of that. And I love coffee. This is not my favorite coffee scent. I don't know. I, I don't get like all these notes in here. Definitely didn't get cream cheese frosting. Maybe I got like a cookies and cream kind of scent, but it was like, I don't know, it was just such a mishmash of sweet scents with the coffee that I couldn't really identify it as coffee. I wish I really got like the buttermilk pancake scent in there, um, but I just like more straightforward espresso scents. So there's nothing wrong with that scent. I think a lot of people would actually like that scent, but for me, it's just not my like coffee scent. It's not, it's just not for me. I like strong, strong coffee. Okay. This was a random act of kindness that somebody sent me and it's raspberry coconut and orange creamsicle from Rose Girls. And this scent, um, I was a little bit scared about because of the orange creamsicle, but to be honest, all I got was kind of like this, like coconut, like fruity scent. And I didn't get any of the orange creamsicle. And even at that, this did not perform well at all in the bedroom. So I couldn't even smell this one. So that's okay. We tried it. Okay. This one was a very pleasant surprise for me because I hate orange scents, but this is vintage chic scents, Sandy's famous orange Julius. And I think I actually melted this the same day that other people were melting this, which was really funny. Um, on the Facebook group, they were talking about it. This is orange Julius topped with whipped cream. I actually really like this one. I don't know what makes me like an orange scent and what doesn't, but this wasn't like overly sweet. It wasn't overly tart like grapefruit is. This was really pleasant. So I actually think I would repurchase this scent. So thank you so much, Drew, for having us do a week of melt that we probably would hate because that one was actually a love for me. Um, this one was actually pleasantly surprising as well. And this was a sample I had from Wicked Essence. And this is Sweet as Sugar, and it's Cupcakes at Tiffany's Cotton Candy and Orange Sherbet. Um, I'm actually surprised I like this one, not only because it has orange sherbet, but because it has cupcakes at Tiffany's. And I like cupcakes at Tiffany's, but I do not, especially do not, like chocolate with fruit in wax. Like, that's a huge no for me. And this was good. I had put this in my bathroom, and I actually really liked it. So... Um, if I see this come up, um, on her website soon, if it's in a small pack, I might pick it up so I can put it in a bigger area to see if I really do like it. So that one was fun. Okay. We had well done from birdies making sense. This was in the shape of a steak, which was super fun. And this is creamy butterscotch, bourbon whiskey, and sweet vanilla. 
Um, the whiskey in this didn't really bother me that much. It was a pretty much a burb, or I'm sorry, pretty much a butterscotch scent. It smelled kind of like butterscotch fudge to me. It was very creamy, very sweet, um, kind of linear though. It was just one note. Um, so for that reason, I probably wouldn't, no, I definitely would not repurchase this one. It was nice, but, and it threw well. Okay, ooey gooey goodness from Wicked Essence. And this was in like a snappy bar. Vanilla pumpkin marshmallow and sweet potato brown sugar. Um, unfortunately, this is a no for me. I think a lot of people would enjoy this scent, but I don't think I like vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. I have a candle of it and I've burned, I think it's a Bath and Body Works type. I've burned it a couple times, but I'm really unsure about it. And then mixed with sweet potato brown sugar. I love to eat sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are one of my favorite like foods in the entire world. The scent of it is just a no-go for me. I don't know why, but it's not for me. And I know a lot of people like the sweet potato scent. So um, definitely as I've been going through like my wax to inventory, I'm making like a whole spreadsheet of it. Um, I've been purging the sweet potatoes. So that's not a repurchase for me. Jumping on Sweet Lemon Clouds, Sweet Lemon Confection, Vanilla Crunch Donuts, Cotton Candy Frosting, Cupcake, Monster Cookie, and Marshmallow Smoothie. Whew, I need a drink. My mouth is so dry. <laughs> okay, that's Rose Girls, and these were like in her little chunks. This was okay. I wasn't mad at it. I actually didn't feel nauseous melting it. Um, typically, lemon bakery scents I just can't do, but this actually smelled a lot more like lemon sugar to me. I didn't get an overwhelming like cookie cupcake kind of scent. It was more like sweet, sugary, lemon, cotton candy kind of thing. So not a repurchase, but not mad at it. Okay, Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies Espresso from Simo. Unfortunately, Simo just doesn't perform great in my house. I don't, I wish it did better, and I'm kind of like nearing the end of wax that I have of her. So, um, Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. I don't like Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. And uh, espresso, I love espresso, but the espresso is pretty much non apparent in this scent, and so was the um, wax. So. Not a repurchase. Anastasia, I can't repurchase this if I wanted to, but if I could, I would. This is so freaking delightful. I love it so much. This is from Cypress Ridge. At the end of her journey in the wax world, she did change her name. I can't remember what it was, but she's no longer doing wax. This is so good. Okay, get on with it, Angela. It's crushed strawberry, raspberry violet, marshmallow fluff, and pink sugar. This is so good. It's so good. It's the strawberry with the raspberry violet. I don't know what those oils are, but somebody needs to dupe this because it is so freaking good. And I think that's all that I had of it, which is a small little waffle tart of it. Very sad. Okay. Banana nutmeg bread pudding from L3. This was per part of my risky week. I love this. This was so, so good. I did not once get a runty banana when I was warming it. Um... This smelled like the most delicious baking banana nut bread, like in the oven. Like it was so good. And it was like, had like a really rich vanilla, like bready, not like yeasty bready, but like baked like bread. It was so good. Oh my gosh. I love this. Um, definitely going to keep my eye open for that one. And then just a couple more we have here are from Birdie's Making Sense. And this is Have a Beautiful Day. You can see her little label there. This is lavender, coconut milk, vanilla, and cotton candy. So good. She does lavender so well. I love when she mixes it with cotton candy and coconut milk. It's phenomenal. Okay, last empty. Thank goodness because we're almost at 30 minutes. Okay, this is Waffle Cone from Rose Girls, one of my all-time favorite scents. Um, to me, I guess it's not realistic Waffle Cone necessarily. Like, I don't know if I'll ever find that scent that reminds me purely of making Waffle Cones. Um, but this one does get close and I love it. It's just such a beautiful vanilla scent without being like heavy bakery. It's just so yummy. Um... I just, I always think about making the waffle cones when I worked at Baskin Robbins. That was my first job and I stayed there for almost three years. Um, 
and I just remember putting the waffle batter on the waffle iron and when you would close it just like all this steam this beautiful vanilla waffle cone steam would just like penetrate you and <laughs> it smelled so good and I would go home smelling like that and it was like I need to capture this in like a perfume like it's so good um so that is probably where my love of waffle cone comes from all right guys that's it that's all my um wax melt empties for the past three weeks i believe it is so not probably as much as other people but enough to have me tired by the end of this video so all right guys i hope you have a beautiful um start to your week and we'll talk again soon all right bye